Over the last few years, uh, we've heard varying reports across the UK, but substantial reports across the UK um, about the injecting of methadrone. And with that, um, are reports of extensive damage and harm associated with methadrone injecting. Uh, people describe an intense euphoria when injecting methadrone. Um, but with it, um, people additionally um, describe how they find it very, very difficult to inject without causing themselves quite significant harm. And we're seeing increased uh, cellulitis, uh, extensive abscess formation, and the very least, uh, very painful injecting sites um, swellings, uh, discomfort when injecting. Most of that injecting is almost certainly to do with uh, having missed hits. Even though those people are very experienced injectors describing how that when they've kind of prepared the drug without citric, you don't need citric um, when you're cooking up methadrone. Um, it dissolves in water. That when they're preparing the drug for injection and then in putting the needle into the arm, they've got access to a vein that within seconds of kind of pushing the barrel, um, they're getting that immediate kind of you rush, that intense euphoria that people find self feeling. Yeah. But as that's happening, people say how much they start to shake and almost fit when the needle is still in the arm. And it's not difficult to imagine that if you've got a needle in your arm and you're kind of moving around, that's going to cause a lot of kind of local damage. Uh, and if the site is um, irritated by that, uh, that bacteria present, it's not that surprising that people do, uh, are causing so much kind of physical harm. Yeah. People are describing injecting up to 20 times in a session uh, and repeat injecting. There's often a lot of blood around, increasing kind of uh, risk of blood borne virus transmission, HIV and hepatitis C transmission. And additionally, people are describing how they're putting themselves at risk by reusing needle syringes because of the amount of, uh, the, because of the frequency of injecting, repeat injection. We also know that the drug, uh, people describe uh, feeling massively disinhibited when they're using the drug and uh, exposing themselves to risks that they otherwise wouldn't uh, expose themselves to. And people are describing how they're much more likely to end up sharing needles and syringes, um, much more likely to have unprotected sex. Um, and these factors are almost certainly the reason why we're, we're noticing an increase in HIV and hepatitis C amongst these um, people who are injecting methadrone. There's something as well about people describing how injecting methadrone uh, can make their mental health uh, a lot worse. People say that coming down off methadrone is a struggle anyway. People talk about getting very, very dark after being on a run, be it two days, two weeks, up to two weeks uh, a run, um, not eating properly, um, feeling very, very, very dark and flat. And we are hearing increased reports of people attending to mental health services, very significant and disturbing mental health presentations, psychotic presentations as a result of using methadrone. So again, if you are using it, it's almost certainly wise to limit how much you're gonna use, however pleasurable, however euphoric it is, there is this dark side that seems to be affecting most people who are using. If you need advice around safe injecting practice, go to your needle exchange, needle syringe program, have a talk to one of the workers there, talk to your mates who are good at this to learn how to do this properly because this is high risk. You know, if, you, if, you're, you, if you're determined to carry on injecting methadrone, make sure you do it well, okay? Make sure the equipment is there and the injecting is done well as safely as possible. It's probably only manageable for kind of short periods at a time. Allow yourself rest between your injecting sessions. Keep yourself uh, well in between those sessions and take care of yourself and your mates while you're doing so um, to ensure that you can maximise your enjoyment while not compromising your health and well-being while you're doing so.